파트 3 실전편 22강 실전 모의고사 1회 1번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, Westridge High School students. This is your vice principal, Ms. Collins. The main stove in our school cafeteria broke down this afternoon, and we had a repair person look at it. The repair person said a part in the stove needs to be replaced, and it won't be available until tomorrow. We try to provide the planned food, but we won't be able to serve tomorrow's original lunch meal plan. So we will be serving sandwiches and orange juice for lunch instead of the original meal. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. 2번 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, Sam. How are you? I'm good, Jenny. How about you? I'm pretty tired. I stayed up really late surfing the internet on my smartphone for about three hours. Again? Don't you think you should manage your screen time? What do you mean? I mean, you should control the amount of time you spend in front of the screen. Long screen time can be really bad for your eyes. Oh, is it that bad? It's not just the eyes. Too much screen time can have a variety of negative health effects, including disrupted sleep patterns and a lack of exercise. Hmm, maybe that's why I always feel tired in the afternoon. That's right. You should really think about controlling your screen time for your health. Okay. Thanks for your advice. I'll try to do that. I'm sure you'll start feeling less tired. 3번. 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 요지로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, listeners. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. In this episode, I'll discuss a consideration when talking with others. Suppose you have a friend who unintentionally annoys people. She continuously talks about things that no one knows anything about. Your group of friends feels exhausted from listening to her long personal stories. What do you think this friend should do? I think it's best to always try to talk about topics that everyone in the group is familiar with. This way, everybody can feel they are a part of the conversation and enjoy themselves more. 4번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Honey, I think it's about time that we remodel our garage. I completely agree. We should get it remodeled like my brother's garage. Let me show you a picture of it. Here. Wow, it looks great. He even has a treadmill in it. Yeah, that's where he works out. That's a great idea. I also like the storage rack along the right wall. Definitely. And the rack has wheels, so it's easy to move around. And look, there's a rectangular sink under the window. That'd be really nice to wash up there after gardening. For sure. And my brother put a refrigerator in the left corner. That's nice. But I don't think we need one. That would be a waste of electricity. Good point. I like the landscape painting on the left wall. You should ask him where he got it. Okay, 
I will. Five. 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 Where's the reunion going to be at? At the Italian restaurant Dino. I reserved a table for twenty. I see. So that many people have told you that they're attending? No, that's how many people were invited. Then you should probably confirm who's going to be able to attend. You might have to adjust the reservation if not everybody can join. Good idea. Then I'll text everybody and find out. Sounds good. Thanks for the advice, Mom. Six. 번대화를듣고여자가지불할금액을고르시오 Welcome to Daniel's Donuts. How may I help you? Hi. How much are the family donut boxes? They're normally thirty dollars, but we're having a special promotional event right now, so they're twenty-five dollars. The promotional event ends tomorrow. Perfect timing. So it's five dollars off. I'll take one family donut box. All right. Is there anything else you'd like? Just so you know, if you spend more than thirty dollars, you can get a ten-dollar mug for free. Really? Then I'll buy some chocolate chip cookies too. How much are they? They're one dollar each. How many would you like? I'll take ten of them. So I get a mug then, right? Yeah, I'll get that for you. Thanks. And I have a Happy Buy credit card. Do I get ten percent off with it? I'm sorry, but we no longer have a partnership with that credit card company. Oh, I see. No problem. Here's my credit card. Seven. 번대화를듣고남자가오늘배드민턴을그만치려는이유를고르시오 Hello, Mr. Davidson. How is your elbow today? Hello, Miss Smith. My elbow is okay now. I actually just finished playing a game of badminton. That's great. Oh, your racket is a new one, right? Yes, I bought a new racket yesterday. It's a little lighter than the old one. It's really nice. Would you like to play badminton with me now? Sorry, I can't play any more today. Oh, I didn't think you're still recovering and must be tired. No, I only played for an hour. I'm good, but I have dinner plans with my friend now. I see. Then can we play together tomorrow? Sure. I'll be back tomorrow evening. Does that work for you? Yes. Badminton tomorrow then. See you. 8번대화를듣고그린에너지페스티벌에관해언급되지않은것을고르시오 Hi, Rachel. Do you have any plans this weekend? Hi, Kevin. I'm going to the Green Energy Festival. Oh, what's that about? Its main events are workshops and discussions about sustainable living, and in the evening they have some live music performances. Sounds like fun. When is it? 
It starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow and ends on Sunday at 5 p.m. I see. Who is hosting the festival? It's held by Eco People, a big environmental group. They started holding the festival 10 years ago. I've heard of that group. How can I sign up for the festival? If you go to the Eco People website, there's a registration form to fill out. It's pretty easy. I see. I'll probably go on Saturday. That's when I'm going. We can go together. Future Science Brain에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, listeners. I'm Eric Peterson. Are you looking for an educational TV show to watch with your children? Orange EduTV has launched a new science educational series called Future Science Brain. The program covers various science fields with fun approaches. The first three episodes about animals, computers, and the universe were broadcast, and the reviews have been great. The series features popular child actors Jessica Davis, Ben Colbert, and Edward Duncan. To watch this series, you must subscribe to the channel, which is $10 per month. Future Science Brain airs every Friday evening from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Don't miss out on this fun educational program that you can enjoy with your children. 10번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 신청할 그룹 테니스 수업을 고르시오. Kate, what are you looking at? Hi, Eric. I'm looking at a website to sign up for a group tennis lesson for beginners. I'm not sure which one to take, though. Oh, that's cool. Let me see. Are there any days you're not free? Yeah, I have to babysit my brother every Tuesday. Okay. They're all in the evening. Is that okay? That's good, but I don't want to finish after 9 p.m. That seems pretty late. I agree. Oh, I think it'd be better if you learned how to play tennis on an indoor court. Good point. Then I won't have to worry about the weather. That's right. You can play indoors, rain or shine. Well then, I guess it's down to these two. Look. This group lesson already has four people. I think it'd be better for you to choose a smaller group. Right. Then I'll sign up for this lesson. Thank you, Eric. 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Emma, did you notice Judy's leg today? She had a cast on it. Yeah, I saw that. She said she sprained her ankle pretty badly while playing soccer yesterday. It must be tough for her to walk home with her bag. We should help her out. 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Daniel, don't forget that we're supposed to go to your grandparents' house for dinner today. I know, Mom. I need to return a book to the library after school, 
but it won't take long. Okay. Remember that we're leaving at 5 p.m., so you should be here before then. Chloe, what are you doing after school? I have no plans. Do you want to go see a movie? Yeah, that sounds fun. What time are you free? I'm free from 3 o'clock right after class. How about you? Well, I'll be free around 3.30. I need to go see Mr. Davis after class. Okay, then I'll wait for you at the library. By the way, did you hand in your literature assignment today? You said it was due today. You're right. I was going to hand it in after class. Then you should take care of it before we go to the movies. Right, but I haven't printed it out yet. Well, then I can do it for you after class, since I have nothing to do. Really? Thank you, Chloe. Here's my USB drive. The file is in the assignment folder. 14번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, you haven't looked up from your phone for about an hour. Sorry, sweetie. I'm shopping for a second-hand tent on an online flea market. I'm thinking about getting this one. Take a look. Oh, that's the exact tent you wanted to buy. How much is it? It's $150. That's less than half the original price. Great. How many years has it been used? The seller said it's been two years since he bought it and used it only five times. That sounds good, but you still should see it in person before buying it. But look at this picture. It looks like it's in great condition. Sure, but it's a picture. There may be tears that you can't see in the picture. Well, that makes sense. I need to be more careful. That's right. I think you'd better decide after you check it out yourself. 15번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 미스터 윌슨이 여자 아이에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mr. Wilson has been working as an apartment manager for a year. He does a lot of things to keep the environment of the apartment clean and safe for the residents. Today, he notices that one of the swings in the children's playground is not balanced, making it dangerous. He goes to his office and writes, Do not use in large letters on a piece of paper. Then he goes back to the playground to attach it to the swing. However, when he gets to the playground, a little girl is using the swing. He thinks the girl should use a safer swing. In this situation, what would Mr. Wilson most likely say to the little girl? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Last class, we talked about a variety of modern computer technologies. Today, we're going to focus on how VR technology 
which means virtual reality technology, is used in various fields. It has become increasingly popular in a wide range of fields because of its ability to involve users in a simulated environment. First of all, in gaming, VR technology allows players to feel as if they are inside the game, creating a more realistic and engaging experience. In education, VR can be used to provide engaging learning experiences that help students better understand complex concepts. Moreover, in healthcare, VR technology can be used for pain management, physical therapy, and even as a tool for diagnosing and treating mental health conditions. Lastly, in tourism, VR technology can let people travel to different countries. Visit world famous landmarks and experience a glimpse into another culture. It's very useful because we can try a holiday before we decide where to go. Overall, VR technology has proven to be a valuable tool for various fields. Now, let's talk more about the uses of VR technology after watching a short video. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Last class, we talked about a variety of modern computer technologies. Today, we're going to focus on how VR technology, which means virtual reality technology, is used in various fields. It has become increasingly popular in a wide range of fields because of its ability to involve users in a simulated environment. First of all, in gaming, VR technology allows players to feel as if they are inside the game, creating a more realistic and engaging experience. In education, VR can be used to provide engaging learning experiences that help students better understand complex concepts. Moreover, in healthcare, VR technology can be used for pain management. Physical therapy, and even as a tool for diagnosing and treating mental health conditions. Lastly, in tourism, VR technology can let people travel to different countries, visit world famous landmarks, and experience a glimpse into another culture. It's very useful because we can try a holiday before we decide where to go. Overall, VR technology has proven to be a valuable tool for various fields. Now, let's talk more about the uses of VR technology after watching a short video. 16번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 17번. 언급된 분야가 아닌 것은? 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다. 18번부터는 문제지의 지시에 따라 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 23강 실전 모의고사 2회 1번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. All right, everyone. Now that you've got your flippers on, let's go to the next step, which is how to use the snorkel. First, put your mask on and adjust the small rubber strap so that the snorkel passes just above your left ear. Then, take a deep breath, bite down on the mouthpiece, and put your head in the water. Breathe out sharply once to clear any water in the snorkel. This is called blasting. Then try swimming and breathing at the same time. But move gently so your snorkel doesn't fill up with water.
and remember to blast whenever water gets in the snorkel. Clara, have you been burning candles in your room? Yeah. Have you smelled the lavender? It's nice, right? Yes, but do you know that burning candles in a small room can pollute the air? Really? I had no idea. Yes. It's because burning candles release tiny chemical particles into the air, which collect in really small spaces. That doesn't sound good. It's not. If you breathe in that air for a long time, you can get some health problems. I see. I didn't know that burning candles could be harmful. I don't think many people do, but it's important to be aware of this. Especially if you burn candles in a small enclosed space like your room. Thanks for telling me. I'll stop burning candles. 3번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 요지로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Welcome to Lazy Afternoon with your host Olivia. We should always take moments throughout our day to appreciate the simple joys of life and express our gratitude. Oprah Winfrey once said, There are so many simple joys to be experienced in this very moment. From a relaxing stroll alone to an energizing hike with friends, these moments bring us immense happiness. The blue sky, the laughter of children, and the smile of a loved one each holds its own magic. Take a closer look and you'll find countless reasons to be thankful. Something to do, a place to rest, and consistent support from those around us. Let's cherish these blessings and find happiness in the little things. 4번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Maria, why are you smiling? Hi, Michael. I'm looking at a photo of my niece, Lily. She's my sister's daughter. They had a little photo shoot at home. Let me see. Wow, she's so cute. Lily must have turned 100 days old since her jumpsuit says 100 days on it. Right. She turned 100 days two days ago. She's wearing a crown on her head. I know. Her parents wanted to make her 100th day a special occasion. The stuffed animal next to her is so cute. I love giraffes. Thanks. The stuffed giraffe was a gift from me. It's perfect for the photo. The giraffe even matches Lily's striped socks. Oh, yeah. I hadn't noticed. My favorite part is the star-shaped cushion under her legs. Yeah, it's cool, too. I can't wait to see Lily this weekend. 5번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Katie, I'm looking forward to handing out snacks before the midterm exam tomorrow. Me too. It's one of my favorite student council events. I think we're almost ready. Right. I updated the message on the LED display board. 
I saw it. I like the encouraging message you added. I hope it helps the students. Did you place the order for the snacks? Yes, I did. However, I received a text message saying the delivery would be delayed. Oh no! Will it still arrive today, though? Can you track the order? Yeah, it's supposed to arrive today. I'll track it to see its current location. Okay, and I texted the other student council members to inform them about when and where to meet tomorrow morning. Great! It's going to be a fun day tomorrow. Six. 번대화를듣고남자가지불할금액을고르시오 Welcome to Chef's Paradise. May I help you? Yes. Can you point me to your measuring spoon sets? Sure. Right here, we have a plastic set with four spoons and a metal set with seven spoons. How much are they? The plastic set is five dollars, and the metal one is thirteen dollars. I'll take a metal set. Okay. Currently, we have a special offer. If you purchase a measuring spoon set and a measuring cup set together, you'll get a discount. Oh, great! I could use some new measuring cups. Here's our metal measuring cup set. It comes with five cups and costs seventeen dollars. But since you're getting the measuring spoon set, you get ten percent off the total. Great! I'll buy both sets. Okay, one metal measuring spoon set and one metal measuring cup set, right? Yes. Here's my credit card. 칠번대화를듣고여자가체육관을옮긴이유를고르시오 Diana, another salad for lunch? That's all you've had all week. Hi, David. I started a new diet this week. Oh, I see. And have you stopped working out in the evening? I haven't seen you at the gym recently. No, I've just changed gyms. Really? I thought you liked our gym because it's so close to the office and it has a lot of machines. That's true, but my friend recommended a personal trainer at her gym. Oh, I see. So, how's your new trainer? She's awesome. She doesn't push me too hard like my previous trainer, and the program she has me on is better than the last one. Sounds perfect. Yes, I'm much happier. 8번대화를듣고하라핫스프링스에관해언급되지않은것을고르시오 Honey, I was thinking that while we're in Osaka on our trip, we should go to a hot spring. I was thinking that too. Do you know of a good place? Yeah, there's a place called Hara Hot Springs just a few stops away from Osaka Station. Cool. Do you have their hours? I'd love to spend a whole day there. Let me check. They're open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Great. Do you know if they have different themed hot spring pools? Yeah, they have a Japanese garden themed pool, a natural rock pool, and an outdoor hot spring pool. Perfect. Do we need to bring anything there? We should bring our own bathing suits. Okay. And do they sell snacks there? Actually, there's a restaurant on site that serves traditional Japanese cuisine. Awesome! Let's go there. 
9번 타사베이 와이너리 투어에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello everyone. Welcome to Tassa Bay Winery. The Tassa Bay Winery tour starts in the garden right over there, and it takes about an hour. A guide will show you around the main building and teach you about the winemaking process. Then he will take you inside the production area to see where our dedicated team crafts our original wine from Bali. After experiencing our unique winemaking process, the guide will accompany you to the tasting room, and there you can try tasting three of our wines. With your taste buds stimulated, you can visit the retail shop where you can buy wine at a discounted price. Thank you for joining us today. 10번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 주문할 USB 허브를 고르시오. Mr. White, do you know much about USB hubs? I need to buy one for the teacher's office. Yeah, I know a little bit. Do you need help choosing one? Yes, thanks. I found these five models on this website. Well, first off, this one only has three ports. That's not enough. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that this one is out of the budget range. How much is the budget? It's $20. How about this one? It has the longest cable. I think it's actually too long. When the cable is over 25 centimeters, it tends to get twisted. Ah, that's a good point. So then it's down to these two. Most of the other computer accessories are black, right? Yeah, I'll go with the same color. I'll order this one. 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Lydia, how's your Italian class at the language school? Great. I feel like I'm learning a lot, though my teacher teaches even without a textbook. Really? How does the teacher do that? 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, is this elevator working? No, it's not. We're doing some maintenance on it right now. Sorry for the inconvenience. No problem. I'm trying to get to the shoe department on the sixth floor. Do you know how I can get there? 13번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Tina, what is that strange smell? Hey, Kevin. It's this fruit called durian. Have you heard of it? Oh, yeah. I've heard it smells bad. I've never seen one, though. Well, trust me. It tastes better than it smells. Do you want to try it? No, thanks. Just the smell makes me feel sick. It's considered a delicacy in some Asian countries. They call it the king of fruits. No way. You're pulling my leg. It's true. All right. What does it taste like then? 
It's a little bit hard to describe. It's neither sweet nor bitter. Whatever. I still can't get rid of the smell in my nose. How can you eat something that smells so bad? Jake, that's quite a bruise you have on your leg. I know. It's huge. I got it while playing soccer last weekend. I didn't know you played soccer. Are you on a team? No, just my friends and I play futsal every weekend just for fun. That's cool. I used to play soccer in high school. Really? Maybe you should join us. It's a mix of men and women. Yeah, I'll think about that. I've been doing yoga for a while, but I feel like playing a team sport again. Then come this upcoming Saturday. At least check it out. And if it seems good, just hop in a game and play. Maybe I will. But it's been so long since I've played. I don't know if I'll still be any good. 15번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 맥스가 마리아에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Max is helping his mother Maria clean out their medicine cabinet. While sorting through the medications, Maria throws an expired container of pills into the garbage and pours a bottle of expired liquid medicine down the sink. Remembering what he learned in health class, Max tells Maria that she should not throw medication in the trash because it's bad for the environment. Maria says she never thought about that and thanks Max for telling her. Then she asks him what they should do instead. Max knows some pharmacies accept and dispose of expired and unused medications. So Max wants to suggest to Maria that they find a pharmacy near them that does that. In this situation, what would Max most likely say to Maria? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. This week, we've been talking about the five types of musical instruments. Percussion, string, brass, woodwind, and keyboard instruments. These categories are based on how the instruments produce sounds. Today, we'll focus on string instruments. which produce sound by vibrating strings. There are three ways of doing this. One way is to rub a bow against the strings. You've all seen people playing the violin this way. The cello is also normally played with a bow as well. Another way to vibrate the strings is to pull them with your fingers. This is called plucking, and it's how people play the guitar. They pluck the strings with their fingers or some other device. The third common method is to strike the strings. For example, piano strings vibrate by hammers hitting them. So the piano is unique because it's considered both a string and a percussion instrument. Now let's listen to how these instruments sound. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. This week, we've been talking about the five types of musical instruments, percussion, string, brass, woodwind, and keyboard instruments. These categories are based on how the instruments produce sounds. Today, 
We'll focus on string instruments, which produce sound by vibrating strings. There are three ways of doing this. One way is to rub a bow against the strings. You've all seen people playing the violin this way. The cello is also normally played with a bow as well. Another way to vibrate the strings is to pull them with your fingers. This is called plucking, and it's how people play the guitar. They pluck the strings with their fingers or some other device. The third common method is to strike the strings. For example, piano strings vibrate by hammers hitting them. So the piano is unique because it's considered both a string and a percussion instrument. Now let's listen to how these instruments sound. 십육번여자가하는말의주제로가장적절한것은십칠번언급된악기가아닌것은이제듣기문제가끝났습니다십팔번부터는문제지의지시에따라답을하시기바랍니다이십사강실전모의고사삼회일번다음을듣고여자가하는말의목적으로가장적절한것을고르시오 Good morning, Woodside High School students. This is Ms. Parker, your school librarian, and I have fantastic news to share. Over the weekend, a remarkable group of college student volunteers visited our library and brought about incredible improvements. They transformed our bulletin board, giving it a fresh and organized look. Additionally, they decorated our walls with beautifully crafted posters, featuring illustrations and quotes from famous authors. They even created a cozy reading area in the corner, complete with comfortable cushions. Thanks to these dedicated volunteers, our library has become a more inviting and enriching space for all of us. Come and witness these incredible changes for yourselves. See you at the library soon. 이번대화를듣고남자의의견으로가장적절한것을고르시오 Hi there, Ben. What are you reading? Hey, Sally. I'm reading a book about Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, are you interested in Poe? Actually, we've been studying his poems in class, and I've been struggling to fully understand their meanings. So I decided to read this book for a better understanding. How can that help? Well, this book provides a lot of information about the cultural context of Poe's era. Knowing the cultural background of a poet can give us valuable insights into their poems, helping us comprehend them better. Ah, I see. Poetry is not just a collection of words; it reflects the experiences and values of its time. That's a great point, Ben. Absolutely. Understanding a poet's cultural background helps us connect with their work on a deeper level. I couldn't agree more. Thanks for sharing your insights. 3번다음을듣고여자가하는말의요지로가장적절한것을고르시오 Good evening, parents. I'm Dr. Geraldine Moore from Little Angels Medical Center. 
Are you concerned about your child's sleep habits? Tonight, I'd like to highlight the importance of establishing a consistent bedtime routine to promote healthy sleep for your kid. This can involve activities such as taking a warm bath, reading a book together, or engaging in calming play. By consistently following this routine, your child develops a sense of predictability and signals their body that it's time to relax and prepare for sleep. Numerous studies have shown that children who maintain a consistent bedtime routine fall asleep more easily and experience better quality sleep. Now, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have before we move on. Sabon. Dehwal dhikko. Grim eso dehwal ee neon gwa ilchi aji a n n e n g o s e l o r u s i o Honey, what are you looking at? It's a photo that my friend Miranda just sent from Seoul. She's on vacation there right now. Oh, let me see. She's wearing hanbok. It looks good on her. And it appears she's in a traditional house. Actually, she mentioned that it's a cafe. Ah, I see. The round table next to her looks quite charming. Yes, and the view of the mountain behind the cafe is simply breathtaking. It's truly beautiful. And look at that lovely garden. There's a pond in the center. Oh, wow. They even have stepping stones across the pond. How cool! I bet it'd look even more amazing at night when the lantern hanging from the tree is lit up. Absolutely. This photo really makes me want to visit Seoul. I feel the same. Honey, how's it going? Just finished my department meeting and taking a break with some refreshments. How about you? Working from home is nice. I had lunch with my parents today. That's nice. Unfortunately, I'll be working late tonight. I'm not fully prepared for tomorrow's presentation. But you said you were almost ready. I was, but I couldn't find an important file with statistics and graphs, so I have to recreate it. That's too bad. It'll take up a lot of your time. Yeah, I printed out some relevant data, but I can't find it either. I might have left it at home. I remember seeing a similar printout in the bedroom. I'll go check. Ah, I found it. It has graphs and images. Oh, that's it. I'll go and pick it up now. Actually, I can bring it to your office in an hour. I'm almost done with my work. That'd be great. Thanks a lot. 6번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Hello. How can I help you today? Hi. What's the price for your apples? The smaller ones are $2 each, while the larger ones go for $3. They're all very tasty. I'll take 10 of the larger ones, please. Actually, if you add an extra $10, you can get a box containing 15 larger apples. That sounds like a great deal. All right, I'll go for one box. Okay. Is there anything else I can assist you with? How much are your avocados? They're $3 each, but a pack of six avocados is $15. I'll just take two avocados. Here's my credit card. Great.
Let me pack up your apples and avocados for you. Thank you. Mr. Anderson, are you busy? Hey, Ms. Parker. No, come on in. Are you still preparing for the English speaking contest? Yeah, but I'm almost ready. Thanks for agreeing to be the judge. No problem. Do you still have the files for the teaching materials we worked on together for the novel Pride and Prejudice? Sure. Are you planning to use them next semester? I'm considering it, but I can't open the files. I suspect it's because of a virus. Can I copy them from you? Unfortunately, I can't provide the files right now. Don't you have them on your PC? No, they're on my laptop, which my elder brother borrowed during his business trip. His laptop is currently broken. I see. I'll come pick it up later then. No rush. Okay. I'll let you know when he returns. 8번. 대화를 듣고 문라이트 워크에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hey Lydia, have you heard about the Moonlight Walk happening this weekend? No, I haven't. What's it all about? It's an organized nighttime group walk. It seems like a wonderful way to explore and enjoy the city during the night. That sounds interesting. When is it taking place? It's scheduled for this Saturday, starting at 7 p.m. Oh, that'll work for me. Can you tell me about the route? Sure. It begins at Central Square and then goes through downtown, passing through some neighborhoods on the east side. So, it's a bit lengthy, right? Yeah, it covers approximately 8 kilometers, so it should take around 2 hours to complete. Is there a fee to participate? Yes. There's a participation fee of $20 per person, which includes a complimentary T-shirt. That's great. Thanks for informing me. I'm considering joining. Awesome. It'd be fantastic to walk together at the event. 9번. 보틀 테라리움 워크숍에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Are you looking to add some greenery to your home in a fun, unique way? Then join our bottle terrarium workshop to learn how to create your very own mini garden inside a glass bottle. The workshop takes place on Saturday, May 4th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Briswick Community Center. The cost is $50 per person. This includes all the necessary materials, such as a bottle, plants, soil, sand, and rocks. And the best part is that the bottle garden you make will be yours to take home and watch grow. The workshop is only open to people aged 18 or older. Finally, there's a 10-person class size limit, so don't wait long to register. This is a great chance to add a personal touch of nature to your home. 10번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 남자가 구입할 옷걸이 세트를 고르시오. Mom, could you help me with something? Of course, Kevin. What is it? 
I want to purchase a clothing hanger set from this website, but I'm not sure which one to choose. Could you help me decide? Sure. Let me have a look. Do you have any specific material preference? Not really, but I don't want wooden hangers because they're too bulky. Then we can eliminate this one. What's your budget? I'd like to keep it under forty dollars. In that price range, you have these three options. It's definitely a good idea to go for non-slip hangers. Okay, I'll consider one of these two then. How about this set? It comes with more hangers. Well, I don't think I need that many. I'll go for the other set. That's a wise choice. Honey, have you taken a look at how worn out the fence in the backyard looks recently? We should repaint it. Yes, I have, and I was just thinking the same thing. Then I'll go to the paint store to buy some new paint later today. When should we start painting it? 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. John, take a look at my cell phone. Doesn't the screen look really dark? Yeah, Grandma. You should adjust the brightness. I'll show you how. How does it look now? Oh, it's much better now. Thanks. I thought it was dark because my phone battery was getting weak. 13번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, have you thought about our summer vacation destination? Yes, I think we should go somewhere focused on ecotourism. I read about it online. What does ecotourism mean exactly? It means choosing a destination that actively preserves nature and promotes sustainable living. That sounds great. Any specific places in mind known for ecotourism? Yes, I found an amazing eco-friendly resort in Costa Rica that has received excellent reviews. Wonderful. Tell me more about it. The resort is surrounded by breathtaking natural beauty. They are dedicated to sustainability, relying heavily on solar power, growing their own food, and implementing various green programs. Perfect. Let's make a reservation now. All right. I'll check if they have available rooms for our travel dates. Great. I hope we can secure our booking. I don't want to miss out on this incredible experience. 14번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Amelia, can I talk to you for a moment? Sure, little brother. Oh, why the long face? Is something wrong? Yeah, I have a science project due in a couple of weeks, but I don't know where to start. What's the project about? I have to create a model of the solar system and describe the different planets and their characteristics. Okay, I think I can help you with that. What do you already know about the solar system? 
We learned about the eight planets in science class, but I want to know more about them. Then I can show you some websites where you can research and gather important details. That'd be great. Thanks, Amelia. No problem. I also have some science journals that may give you some ideas for creating your model. I'll lend them to you. Shibo Bon. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 에마가 제게게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Emma is getting ready to go to her friend's piano concert, but she's having a difficult time deciding what to wear. So she asks her brother Jack for his opinion, since he has a good sense of fashion. When Emma shows him the outfits, Jack suggests that she wear the floral dress. Emma says that she thinks it might be too casual for the concert. However, Jack tells her that with the right accessories, it'll be appropriate. She trusts him and wears the floral dress to the concert, and she receives numerous compliments from her friends. Emma wants to express her gratitude to Jack for his suggestion when she returns home. In this situation, what would Emma most likely say to Jack? Shimyuk Bon Buto, Shipchil Bon Kazinen, Tubon Tilyajumida. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Welcome to Senior Insights. Today, we're going to explore how life can get even better as we age. While we often think of aging in terms of physical changes, there are actually many aspects of life that can improve with time. One of these aspects is our relationships. As we grow older, Our long term connections with family and friends can become deeper and more meaningful. Another area that improves with age is our expertise. Throughout our lives, we learn and gain skills in various areas. As we age, we have the opportunity to further develop and refine our expertise, becoming true masters in our fields. Emotional intelligence. Also tends to improve with age. As we go through life, we become better at understanding our own emotions and the feelings of others. Lastly, enjoyment is something that can increase with age. As we gain wisdom and experience, we learn to appreciate the simple pleasures in life. We find joy in the little things and contentment in the present. We'll be back after a short commercial break, so stay tuned. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Welcome to Senior Insights. Today, we're going to explore how life can get even better as we age. While we often think of aging in terms of physical changes, there are actually many aspects of life that can improve with time. One of these aspects is our relationships. As we grow older, our long term connections with family and friends can become deeper and more meaningful. Another area that improves with age is our expertise. Throughout our lives, we learn and gain skills in various areas. As we age, we have the opportunity to further develop and refine our expertise. Becoming true masters in our fields. Emotional intelligence also tends to improve with age. As we go through life, we become better at understanding our own emotions and the feelings of others. Lastly, enjoyment is something that can increase with age. 
As we gain wisdom and experience, we learn to appreciate the simple pleasures in life. We find joy in the little things and contentment in the present. We'll be back after a short commercial break, so stay tuned. 16번 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 17번 언급된 과일이 아닌 것은? 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다. 18번부터는 문제지의 지시에 따라 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 25강 실전 모의고사 4회 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi everyone. Before we start today's class, I have something important to share with you. Yesterday, I received news from the Spring Department Store Culture Center that they're having an Asian food cooking contest next month. All of you have been here learning how to cook various Asian dishes for the past six months, so this contest is a perfect opportunity to showcase your cooking skills. I believe you're all good enough to be competitive and even win the contest. You can register for it on the Spring Department Store website. I really hope all of you will participate in this contest and show off your cooking skills. 2번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey Jason, have you decided on how you're going to travel around Australia on your trip? Well, I'm thinking about getting my international driver's license and renting a car. That sounds fun, but Australia is huge, so you may get tired driving by yourself. While traveling there, I found it easy to get around by bus. Really? I never considered buses. Traveling Australia by bus has a lot of benefits. First, you won't have to worry about driving long distances. That sounds good to me. And it's a lot cheaper than having to constantly fill up a car with gas. That's a great point, especially with the cost of gas nowadays. And who knows? Maybe you can make friends with other people traveling on the bus. That's exactly what I want. I'll seriously consider your suggestion. 3번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 요지로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi everyone. I'm Alex Kim and I am currently a sophomore majoring in economics. Thank you for inviting me to the on-campus broadcasting program. As you know, I have won the writing contest for the past two years. Many people have wondered what contributed to my success in these contests. Now, I'm going to share with you how I improved my writing skills. It's quite simple. Write in a diary every day. I firmly believe that the more you write, the better your writing skills will become. Keeping a diary is an effective way to encourage yourself to write as often as possible. So if you truly want to enhance your writing skills, write in a diary at any time convenient for you before going to bed. 
you'll see a significant difference in no time. For more tips, join me again tomorrow. Now back to some music. Sabon. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Honey, did you finish rearranging Jenny's room? Yeah, I finally finished it. What do you think about it? Oh, you placed Jenny's bed in the center of the room. And I put her penguin doll on the table beside the bed. That's nice. The elephant-shaped pencil holder on the desk is very unique. Jenny is sure to like it. I hope so. Oh, I've never seen that heart-shaped clock on the wall. When did you get it? On my way home from work yesterday. See the flower pot in the left corner of the room? Yeah, it's great. It makes the room cozier. That's the nice thing about plants. You did a great job, honey. 5번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Brian, I'm getting a little nervous. Our Magic Club's performance is almost here. I know. It's just two weeks away. I finally finished designing the flyer for it. Here it is on my computer. Wow, great job. You're really talented at graphic design. Thanks. Why don't we make 100 copies and pass them around to students at lunchtime? Good idea. So, will you make the copies? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Great. I'll make the schedule for the magic performers. All right. You know Stella really wants to go first, right? Yeah, and other members told me their preferences, too. Everybody should be able to get the order they want. That's good. I hope many people come to see our performance. I hope so, too. 6번 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Hi, I'd like to buy cat food made with tuna. I see. How about this two-kilogram bag? It's ten dollars. Hmm, that would last probably about a month? Yeah, for one adult cat. That's about right. Do you have one bigger than this? Sure. This is a five-kilogram bag, and it's twenty dollars, so you save a little money. Great. I'll take two five-kilogram bags. Okay. And since you're buying two, you get 10% off the total price of the cat food. That's great. And I also need a bottle of cat shampoo. All right. It's right over here. It's $12 a bottle. You can also get a 10% discount if you buy two bottles of cat shampoo. No, thanks. I'll take one bottle. That's all. Here's my credit card. Thank you. 7번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 타타뷰 호텔에 투숙하기를 원하지 않는 이유를 고르시오. John, you went to Tata Island last year, didn't you? Yeah, with my wife. Why? Are you planning to go there too? Yes, I am. Can you recommend a good hotel to me? Oh, I highly recommend the Tata View Hotel. I stayed there and it was so nice. Cool. Is it near the beach? Absolutely. 
It's only a one-minute walk from the hotel to the beach, and it's only a couple of years old. That sounds great. How much is a room? Around two hundred dollars a day. It's a five-star hotel. Oh, that's more expensive than I want. I'm traveling alone, so I'd prefer a more reasonably priced hotel. But it serves free breakfast, and it has a really nice swimming pool. It does sound really nice, but it's beyond my budget. I'll look for another place. I understand. Albert, have you heard about the Green Auto Show coming up? Yeah, I try to go there every year. Have you ever been there? No, but I'd like to go this time. It's June third to June thirteenth at the Midvale Convention Center. Let's go together. Do you know how much the tickets are? They're twenty dollars for an adult and free for children under fourteen. Oh, it was the same last year. The show always displays the coolest, newest eco-friendly cars. I heard there are going to be more than two hundred models this year. Cool! I can't wait to see them. The newspaper article about the show I read said around six hundred thousand people are expected to attend this year. Wow! It keeps on getting more popular. Yeah, I think it may become the most popular event in the city someday. 9번 한국어 말하기 대회에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Okay, students. Before wrapping up today's class, I have an important announcement. Lexington College's Korean Education Center is holding a Korean speech contest to celebrate Visit Korea Year. The contest is open to all students at Lexington College. The contest theme is Korean traditional culture. The script must be written by the participant, and its length should be between 800 and 1,000 words. The first place winner will receive a gold medal and a tablet PC. A silver medal and wireless earphones will be given to the second place winner. Starting tomorrow, registration will be available on the center website until September 20th. I hope many of you participate in the contest. 10번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 남자가 대여할 복사기를 고르시오. Hi, can I help you? Yes, please. I'm looking to rent a copy machine for my business. Okay, I'd be glad to help you out. Could you tell me your budget? I'd like to keep it under eighty dollars a month, if possible. Got it. How long do you need the copy machine? Um, I need it for twelve months. How about Wi-Fi? Do you need one with Wi-Fi access? Yes, I do. Without that function, it's quite inconvenient to use a copy machine. Yeah, right. Um, there are two copy machines left that fit what you've said so far. Now you only have to think about color copying. I'll rent the one with color copying. Okay. Wait a minute, please. I'll get you the contract. 
11번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. My Korean teacher told me that there are grammar errors in my report. Well, how about using a Korean grammar checker online? They check for grammar errors and they're free. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Do you know of a good Korean grammar checker online? 12번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dad, I'm hungry. Is there something to eat? Look in the fridge. There should be some leftover pizza from last night. Oh, I forgot about that. I'll eat that. It'll be so cold and hard, though. 13번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kathy, are you planning on watching the Women's Figure Skating World Championship tonight? Yeah, I can't wait. Who do you think will win? I'm expecting Lucy Kim to win. She's currently ranked number one in the world, right? Yeah, she's been performing so well recently. How about Jennifer Brown? She's ranked number two and won the competition last year. Right. But I read an article that said she hasn't fully recovered from her ankle injury. Oh, if that's the case, she probably won't be able to perform her most difficult moves. Exactly. And she lost to Lucy Kim this year. 14번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, I bought this laptop here and it's having problems. I was wondering if you could repair it. Of course, I'd be happy to help. What problem is it having? It sometimes makes an unusual noise while I'm using it. I see. When did you purchase it? You can get free repair service for the first two years. I bought it last year. Here's my membership card. Let me check. Okay, I see it here. The repair will be free. Good. How long do you think the repair will take to complete? It depends on the degree of the problem. I see. Can I leave my laptop with you now? 15번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 케이트가 다니엘에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kate, a casting director at a movie studio, is holding auditions to find an actor to play the lead role in an upcoming film. Daniel is auditioning for the main character role. Kate asks him to perform a scene where the main character reflects on a past failure. Daniel does a pretty good job, and Kate thinks he may be the person to play the main character in the film, so she gives him a chance to attend the final audition. However, Daniel does a poor job in the final audition, and Kate realizes that he's not a good fit for this film. So Kate decides not to cast Daniel in this film. In this situation, what would Kate 
most likely say to Daniel? Hi everyone! Welcome to Sarah's online video channel, Wonderful Animals. Today I'd like to talk about how animals defend themselves from their predators. It's not easy to survive in the wild, so good defense is extremely important. One common method is disguise. Animals, such as octopuses, can change the color of their skin to make it difficult for predators to spot them. Another way is by simply using their speed. For example, kangaroos are incredibly fast, so they can just outrun their predators. A third way animals defend themselves is through the use of warning signals. African grey parrots make loud calls to warn other parrots nearby when they face danger. Thanks to the warning signals, the parrots in the area can be alerted and take necessary action. Finally, some animals like skunks emit a strong odor that can prevent predators from attacking them. Now let me show you videos of these animals. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hi everyone! Welcome to Sarah's online video channel, Wonderful Animals. Today I'd like to talk about how animals defend themselves from their predators. It's not easy to survive in the wild, so good defense is extremely important. One common method is disguise. Animals, such as octopuses, can change the color of their skin to make it difficult for predators to spot them. Another way is by simply using their speed. For example, kangaroos are incredibly fast, so they can just outrun their predators. A third way animals defend themselves is through the use of warning signals. African grey parrots make loud calls to warn other parrots nearby when they face danger. Thanks to the warning signals, the parrots in the area can be alerted and take necessary action. Finally, some animals like skunks emit a strong odor that can prevent predators from attacking them. Now let me show you videos of these animals. 16번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? Shipchilbon. 실전 모의고사 5회 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Attention students. This is your principal, Mr. Thompson. I regret to inform you that the midterm exam period originally scheduled for April 17th to the 19th has been postponed due to unexpected circumstances. Several classrooms have experienced flood damage from the recent heavy rain and they won't be repaired and suitable for use in time for the exam period. The new exam period date will be announced as soon as the classrooms are safe for use. I apologize for the inconvenience. Please keep an eye out for further updates regarding the revised date. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. 
2번 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Jen. How's your French study going? Hi, Stephen. I feel like my grammar and reading are getting better, but it's hard to improve my listening and speaking. I'm not sure what to do. Have you thought about watching French TV shows? Watching TV shows can help you improve your foreign language communication skills. I haven't considered that. TV shows often have a lot of good real-life conversations. You can imitate the speech patterns of the characters. Sounds terrific. But don't you think they may be too hard for a beginner like me? Then just watch them with subtitles. As your listening skills improve, you won't have to rely on subtitles as much. Good idea. Is that how you became so good at Korean? Yes. Watching TV shows has been really helpful for me. It's a great way to learn a new language. Okay, I'll give it a try. 3번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 요지로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, listeners. Welcome to Parenting Power Hour. As parents, you've probably felt the desire to lend a hand when your kids face challenges, like tying their shoelaces. It's completely normal to want to help and show support. However, you shouldn't take over and perform the tasks for them. Instead, encourage them to handle the tasks they are capable of, like dressing themselves or packing their school bag. Allowing your kids to do things within their abilities is essential for their growth. It's a way for them to feel accomplished and become more independent. On today's episode of Parenting Power Hour, we'll explore this empowering approach further. Stay tuned! 4번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. What are you doing on the computer? I made an invitation for mom and dad's 30th wedding anniversary party. Take a look. Wow. I like how you put the number 30 under the crown. Thanks. Do you think I should change the phrase years of love, laughter and togetherness in the banner? No, it perfectly describes their marriage. It took me a while to think of the right phrase, and I put our favorite picture of mom and dad on the far right. It's the one where they're facing each other. That's such a good picture. And I like the heart in the middle with the party date and place. Thanks. See this QR code in the bottom left corner. If you scan it... It takes you to a photo album with more photos of mom and dad. That's amazing. Everybody's going to love your invitation. I hope so. 5번 대화를 듣고 남자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Linda, I can't believe the school family reading night is today. Me neither. Do you think we have everything ready? I think so. Earlier today, I put posters up along the school hallways to introduce new books. I noticed a lot of students looking at them. Did you inform the guest speaker about the schedule after her speech? Yes, I did. I've been in touch with her via email about that. Great. I finished setting up the tables in the auditorium a little while ago. Awesome. And did you put the snacks and drinks out? 
Yes, I did. But I think we might need more. Last year, more people showed up than we had anticipated. Oh, I see. I'll go to the supermarket to get more. Okay, thanks. And I'll pick up the schedules from the printing room so we can pass them out later. All right. I think we're about ready. Hi, can I get two large cappuccinos to go? Sure. Would you like any toppings? No, just regular cappuccinos, please. Okay, that will be $10 total. All right. And I noticed a sign at the entrance of the coffee shop that all the tumblers are currently on sale. How much is this teddy bear tumbler? It's regularly $30, but it's 20% off right now. Oh, that's great. I'll take it. Okay. Anything else for you? Yes, actually. I want to buy a gift card for a friend's birthday. What amounts do they come in? Our gift cards come in $10, $20, and $50 amounts. Perfect. I'll take a $20 one, please. Okay. Would you like to pay for everything now? Yes, please. Here's my card. 7번 대화를 듣고 남자가 기차역으로 마중 나갈 수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Honey, how did the conference go today? It was really informative. I learned a lot about the latest AI research. That's great to hear. Did you end up going to the Harbor Robotics Center after the seminar? No, unfortunately, it was cancelled due to unexpected maintenance. I'm sorry to hear that. So, what's your plan now? Are you coming straight home? No, I'm going to have lunch with Professor Miller before I head back. All right. What time will you arrive at the station? My train is supposed to get there at 4 p.m. Can you pick me up from there? I'm sorry, but I have a meeting with a client then. No problem. I'll take a taxi. How about Patrick? What is he doing? He's at his swimming lessons right now. Ah, that's right. See you later then. 8번. 대화를 듣고 2024 비전 스콜라십에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hey Jenny, have you heard about the 2024 Vision Scholarship? No, what is it about? It's a scholarship for students who do volunteer work. I know you volunteer a lot, so I thought you'd be interested in it. Oh, I definitely am. What are the requirements? To apply for the scholarship, you need to have completed 100 hours of community service in the previous year. I've done that. How do I apply? You just need to fill out a form online, upload your grades, and write a 500-word essay about your community service experience. Thanks for letting me know. Do you know when the deadline is? It's April 30th. Oh, next week. I'd better get started on my application right away. How much is the scholarship? It's $1,500. It can be used for tuition, books, or other education-related expenses. That's a lot. Thanks for the information. 
2024 윈터 패밀리 펀데이에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, Oakville residents. The 2024 Winter Family Fun Day is right around the corner. It's on December 18th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Bridgeview Park. This is one of the most fun local community-hosted events of the year, bringing Oakville together to celebrate the winter season. Tickets are $15 per person, and kids under 5 are free. Bring the whole family for ice skating, sledding, snowman building, and face painting. Light snacks and beverages are included in the price of admission. Be sure to bring your ice skates and sleds for a day of winter fun. You can buy admission tickets online at the Community Center website. We hope to see you there. 10번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 남자가 구입할 담요를 고르시오. Hi, I'd like to buy a summer blanket. Can you tell me where they are? Well, they're currently in the storeroom. We haven't put them out yet. Let me get a catalog for you, though. Here you are. Take a look. Great. Well, I definitely don't want cotton. It'd be too hot for the summer. Right. The other two materials are better for summer. What size do you need? Either a queen or double would work. Then for those sizes, the prices range from $85 to $110. Hmm, I like these two models, but they're both over $100. No worries. This week, we're actually offering a 10% discount on all products over $100. That's fantastic. So, what color are you interested in? I don't think brown is a good summer color, so I'll get this other one. Okay, I'll get it for you. Great, thanks. 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Miss Sandler. How's your heating bill nowadays? Mine has been extremely high because of the cold weather. Hi, Mr. Baker. Mine is about the same as last year. I always keep the temperature at 18 degrees. Really? I would give that a try, but that sounds quite cold. 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, the plant in the living room is doing very well, but I think it might be outgrowing the pot. Yeah, right. Since you changed the soil mix, it's grown a lot. It has. What do you think about changing the pot? 13번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Susan. You look serious. What's going on? Oh, hi. I'm just thinking whether I should go to the library. I'm not sure if I can make it there before they close. It's already 5.30. You're never going to make it. Is there a book you want to check out? Yeah, it's a book on running a business. 
I think it'd be really helpful for my new business project. Then why don't you use the library's nighttime checkout service? What's that? It's a service that allows you to check out books after the library closes. Really? That's great. How does it work? First, you need to reserve a book online. Then you pick it up from the self-checkout machine outside the library using your library card. Wow, that's awesome! I'd like to try that service today. Sixteen. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey Corey, you've seemed a bit down lately. Is everything okay? I've been worried about something. What is it? Well, my dad has been pressuring me into studying business, but I want to study art. Hmm. Have you told him that? Yes, but my dad is stubborn and won't listen to me. Have you tried having an honest conversation with him? I mean, a heart-to-heart -heart talk where you express how unhappy you are. I wish I could, but I'm scared to disappoint him. Remember, it's your life and your happiness that matters. Your dad will love and support you no matter what. You're right. I think it's about time I gather the courage to tell him how unhappy I would be studying business. Good. If you're just honest about your feelings with your dad, it'll work out. Shibobon. Taum Sangwang Solmangul Dukko. 로저가 클로이에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Roger and Chloe meet again at their high school reunion after 10 years since graduation. Roger is surprised to see Chloe with short hair because she always had long hair throughout high school. Chloe tells him that she donated her hair to help sick children and suggests that Roger do the same. He's encouraged by her suggestion, so he asks her about the required length of his hair for donation. Chloe says it should be at least eight inches long, and gives him information about the organization she donated her hair through. Roger wants to express his gratitude to Chloe for motivating him to donate his hair to help children suffering from illnesses. In this situation, what would Roger most likely say to Chloe? Sixteen 번부터 십칠 번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. I'm Brian Humphrey, director of Green Earth. Today, I want to share with you how buildings with amazing designs contribute to environmental preservation. These buildings not only look incredible, but also help protect our environment. One great example. Is the Bosco Verticale in Italy, which has trees and plants inside to maintain a comfortable temperature all year round. Agbar Tower in Spain is shaped like a fountain, and employs special design elements to control temperature and make the most of natural light. It also has energy-efficient lighting systems and a water recycling system to save resources and use less energy. The Rock Restaurant in Tanzania is built on a big rock in the ocean, and is only accessible by boat during high tide. It uses solar panels to generate electricity, which is a clean and renewable energy source. 
Lastly, the bullet sensor in the U.S. boasts of a rainwater collection system and a garden that provides a home for birds and insects. These eco-friendly buildings showcase how nature can inspire sustainable structures that benefit us and the planet. I hope you found them interesting. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. I'm Brian Humphrey. Director of Green Earth. Today, I want to share with you how buildings with amazing designs contribute to environmental preservation. These buildings not only look incredible, but also help protect our environment. One great example is the Bosco Verticale in Italy, which has trees and plants inside to maintain a comfortable temperature all year round. Agbar Tower in Spain is shaped like a fountain, and employs special design elements to control temperature and make the most of natural light. It also has energy-efficient lighting systems and a water recycling system to save resources and use less energy. The Rock Restaurant in Tanzania is built on a big rock in the ocean. And is only accessible by boat during high tide. It uses solar panels to generate electricity, which is a clean and renewable energy source. Lastly, the Bullet Center in the U.S. boasts of a rainwater collection system and a garden that provides a home for birds and insects. These eco-friendly buildings showcase how nature can inspire sustainable structures that benefit us. And the planet. I hope you found them interesting. 십육번남자가하는말의주제로가장적절한것은십칠번언급된나라가아닌것은이제듣기문제가끝났습니다18번부터는문제지의지시에따라답을하시기바랍니다27강실전모의고사6회1번다음을듣고남자가하는말의목적으로가장적절한것을고르시오 Good evening, residents. This is the apartment management office. Recently, we have received multiple complaints about people not throwing out their garbage appropriately. This has led to unpleasant odors and unsanitary conditions. To ensure a clean and healthy environment for everybody, we kindly request that you throw away your trash in the designated containers. First, be sure to separate recyclables from non-recyclables. Remember, the red container is for plastics, and the yellow one is for glass. For items that are too large to fit in the normal containers. Please use the big black container next to the maintenance office. By working together to properly dispose of our trash, we can improve our apartment environment. Thank you for your cooperation. 2번대화를듣고여자의의견으로가장적절한것을고르시오 Honey, did you throw away coffee grounds? Yes, I did. Why's that? I'd like to put some in our flower pots. Why? Is that good for plants? Yes, coffee grounds have some good oils and nutrients for plants, and they protect against bugs. Oh, I never guessed that. You can also put coffee grounds in a shoe closet to help remove the smell. 
That's really helpful to know. Do you know of any other uses? Yes. They can also remove bad smells in sinks and refrigerators. I see. From now on, I won't throw out the coffee grounds after I make coffee. Great. We can use them in our daily lives. Thanks for letting me know. Good morning, listeners. This is Dr. Robinson from the Medical Minute. A cell phone is something that many people use on a daily basis. It's a personal device that we keep close to us and always touch with our hands, which means It can easily become covered in germs. And what is especially unsanitary about it is how close you put it to your face and mouth. That's why it's important to clean your cell phone regularly. To clean your cell phone, you can use a damp cloth or an alcohol based cleaner. By taking a few minutes to clean your cell phone on a regular basis, you can help keep it free of germs. This will help to keep you healthy and prevent the spread of illness. 4번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hey Molly, have you seen the students' lounge since it was renovated? Not yet. How is it? It's way better than before. Here, I took a picture of it. Let me see. Wow, I like the plants hanging from the bar above the table. They really make the atmosphere fresher. And aren't these ball shaped lights on the ceiling really cool? Definitely. Oh, those two chairs near the round table look comfortable. Yeah, we can sit there and study together. They installed a vending machine on the right wall. Awesome. Students are going to love that. For sure. It has a good selection of snacks in it. What do you think this TV screen next to the vending machine is for? Maybe they'll use it as a bulletin board for important announcements. You're probably right. Let's go to the lounge after school today. 5번 대화를 듣고 여자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mr. Choi, how's the preparing for next Monday's parent-teacher night conference going? Hi, Miss White. I'm almost done. I only have a few more things to check. I can give you a hand if you want. That'd be great. Here's the checklist of things to prepare. Let me see. Hmm, I'm sure you've already contacted all the parents. Yes, I did that last week. What about the handouts? I've printed them out and put them on the desk in the conference room. Great. Did you also prepare some paper and pencils for the parents to use when taking notes? Oh, I did prepare the paper, but I forgot to buy some pencils. Don't worry, I'll go and buy some. Thanks. I'll go over the other things on the checklist. 6번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to Wheelworks Bicycle Shop. How can I help you? Hi, there are some bike accessories I'd like to get. The first one is a helmet. 
Okay, here are our helmets. Hmm, how much is this white one? It's sixty dollars. I'll take it. And I also need a bicycle light. They are over here. These two models are the most popular. This one is twenty dollars, and this one is ten dollars. Hmm. I'll take the cheaper one. And lastly, I need a pair of gloves. I'd recommend these ones. They're originally twenty dollars a pair, but they're on sale for fifty percent off. Wow. I'll take a pair of those gloves too. Is there anything else you need? No, that's all. Here's my credit card. Seven. 번대화를듣고여자가지난주금요일요가수업을빠진이유를고르시오 Good to see you again, Ms. Robinson. How have you been? Hi, Mr. Kim. Good to see you too. How's your back feeling today? Great. The poses that you taught me last week helped ease my back pain. That's good to know. By the way, I was surprised you missed last Friday's yoga class. You didn't forget there was a class, did you? No, I didn't forget. I even set a reminder on my phone. Then were you on the business trip you told me about? Actually, I came back last Thursday, so that's not the reason. Well, I hope it wasn't anything bad. It was a challenging day from the start. My son suddenly got sick that day, so I had to take him to the doctor. Oh no! Is he okay? Yes, he's much better now. Thanks for asking. 8번대화를듣고아이스링크에관해언급되지않은것을고르시오 Jim, have you heard about the new ice rink that just opened up in town? No, I haven't. I really like ice skating. I'd love to visit there. Where is it located? It's located near Central Park. It's a great location, and I heard that the rink is really nice. We should go there sometime. Let's do it. When is it open? It's open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. Cool. How much is admission? It's ten dollars for adults and eight dollars for kids. That's not bad. Is there a limit on how many people can skate at once? I don't feel comfortable when it's really crowded. Yes, they have a one hundred person limit. That's good to hear. Then how about going there tomorrow afternoon? Great! I'm excited to check it out. 9번웨일페스티벌에관한다음내용을듣고일치하지않는것을고르시오 Hello, listeners. Today, I'd like to tell you about one of the most unique festivals in the world, the Whale Festival. It's an annual event held in the coastal town of Greenville. The festival celebrates the yearly arrival of whales in the waters off the coast. It typically takes place over a weekend in late September or early October, and features a variety of events and activities for visitors of all ages. Visitors can take boat tours or walk along the cliffs to watch the whales as they swim and play in the ocean. And local vendors sell a wide variety of foods and drinks, as well as crafts and souvenirs. The festival also includes a range of workshops on environmental issues, including marine life conservation. It sounds like fun, doesn't it? Ship. 
번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 구입할 스케이트보드를 고르시오. Welcome to Rolling Wheel Skate Shop. How can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for a skateboard for my teenage son. He's a complete beginner. A new skateboarder? Awesome! Let me show you what we have. I recommend one of these five. How tall is your son? He's about 168 centimeters. Then you should get a deck with smaller than 8 inches. Okay. What about the material? For a beginner, I recommend a wood deck. It's more stable than plastic. That makes sense. What about the wheels? I recommend soft wheels, which are better for beginners. Okay, so it's down to these two. Hmm, I'll take this. It's more expensive, but my son will love the design. It's a great choice. How would you like to pay? With a credit card. Here you go. 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, have you seen my watch? I put it on the desk, but it's not there. Are you sure? I cleaned up the desk a few hours ago and nothing was on it. Hmm, maybe I put it somewhere else, but I can't remember. Where could it be? 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Mr. Smith. Did you want me to check your computer? Oh, hi, Miss Lewis. Yes, my internet browser keeps shutting down and I don't know why. Let me take a quick look. Hmm... This will take some time. I hope that's okay with you. 13번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Thank you for calling the hungry table. How can I help you? Hi. I have a reservation for four tonight at 7 p.m., but I'd like to change the time. Is that possible? Of course. Can I have the name for the reservation? Yes. It's under Emily Bennett. Thank you. What time would you like to change your reservation to? I'd like to change it to 8 p.m. Okay. I'll make that change for you right now. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, one more thing. I asked for a booth when I made the initial reservation. Is that still possible? I'm sorry, but all the booths are reserved for 8 p.m. However, I can give you a table near the window. Is that area quiet? Yes, it is as quiet as a booth. 14번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Grandpa, do you have a minute? I have something to tell you. Of course, my dear. What is it? I think I made my friend Susan angry at school. I don't know what to do. Oh, what happened? 
She asked me to help her with her homework, but I was really busy doing my own, so I angrily told her to leave me alone. Oh, that's a pretty harsh thing to say to your friend. I know. I was just so focused on my own work, and her request really annoyed me. I understand, but you should have thought more carefully about your words. It sounds like you may have hurt Susan's feelings. You're right. When I think about it again, I was too mean to her. Well, I think you should say sorry to her. But I think I missed the right timing. I wonder she'll be even more upset if I apologize late. Amy and Peter have been dating for a few months, and they are looking for new ways to spend time together. They usually have dinner dates, movie nights, and they often go on long walks. But they are both looking to do something they've never done together before. One day, Peter suggests they go on a hiking trip since they both like outdoor activities. On the other hand, Amy finds out about a cooking class for couples at a nearby community center. Peter says he would be glad to try both, and asks Amy what she would like to do. Amy also thinks that both are great plans, but she wants to take the cooking class first. In this situation, what would Amy most likely say to Peter? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Welcome back to class, everyone. Last class, we talked about how important it is to keep a well-balanced diet. Today, I'd like to tell you about some seasonal fruits and why adding them to our diet is helpful to our health. Here are some examples. First, strawberries are a great spring fruit. Strawberries are rich in vitamins A and K, which will help you overcome spring fatigue. Also, eating watermelons is perfect for summer because it can help you hydrated and cool in the summer heat. Another example is apples for the fall. They are rich in fiber and antioxidants, which can help boost your immune system. This can help you adjust to the change in weather. Lastly, oranges are a good choice for winter. They are rich in vitamin C, which helps prevent the common cold. Overall, eating seasonal fruit is a good way to keep you healthy. Now, let's try these seasonal fruits that I brought in for you today. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Welcome back to class, everyone. Last class, we talked about how important it is to keep a well-balanced diet. Today, I'd like to tell you about some seasonal fruits and why adding them to our diet is helpful to our health. Here are some examples. First, strawberries are a great spring fruit. Strawberries are rich in vitamins A and K, which will help you overcome spring fatigue. Also, Eating watermelons is perfect for summer because it can help you hydrated and cool in the summer heat. Another example is apples for the fall. They are rich in fiber and antioxidants, which can help boost your immune system. This can help you adjust to the change in weather. Lastly, oranges are a good choice for winter. They are rich in vitamin C, which helps prevent the common cold. 
Overall, eating seasonal fruit is a good way to keep you healthy. Now, let's try these seasonal fruits that I brought in for you today. 16번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? (17번) 언급된 과일이 아닌 것은 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다 (18번부터는) 문제지의 지시에 따라 답을 하시기 바랍니다.